The giraffe is the tallest land mammal on Earth. And though these guys are used to being up here with a lot of people, of course, there's no public coming to the zoo right now. So we come out here, we still engage with them because it's important to give the animals enrichment, to keep them occupied, to make sure that things are still kind of normal for them. Again, the giraffes, the males get taller than the females. A male can get to be 18 feet tall, female usually around 14 or 15 feet. The patterns on a giraffe are just like fingerprints. Each one is different. They have an incredibly long tongue. Sometimes it can come out over 18 inches, and that's to grasp the leaves that they eat on the top of the trees. One of the things that people don't realize giraffes do that are real important is that they're pollinators. As they go from flower to flower, from tree to tree, out in the savanna that they live, they actually pick up pollen from those flowers and they pollinate other trees. So it's a unique thing that people aren't aware of. One of the other neat things about giraffe is they have a long pregnancy, about 15 months. And when the mother gives birth, she rarely lays down. The baby falls four to six feet to the floor. It's kind of a big welcome to the world. Giraffe are pretty fast too, though when they run it looks like slow motion. They're actually running up to 35 miles an hour. Very powerful kick. I've actually seen a giraffe kill a lion with a powerful kick trying to come get her calf. So giraffe are really gentle giants. They are the tallest land mammals. A little interesting trivia fact about them. We human beings have seven bones in our neck. If you look at a giraffe, you might think they must have 20 or 30. They have seven bones also, like most mammals. Hopefully when the zoo opens, you'll come back and enjoy these really, truly magnificent animals. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.